to uh, create a instance on Google Cloud using the new IPv6 support. This support is only a couple months old, um, but we've already got it in Nanos. Uh, if you're using the, the latest nightly of Nanos and nightly of Ops, you should be good to go. Otherwise, um, you know, build it from Soros or just, just do the uh, dash in flag. Anyway, first step is uh, we need to go ahead and set up a VPC. So we're gonna do create a VPC. We're gonna do IPv6. Um, uh, let's just say IPv6 uh, new. There we go. You can see I've been playing around with this. Um, and it's important to select uh, custom, not automatic. Uh, we need to go ahead and do IPv6 new, IPv6 new. Um, I'm going to choose US West 2. And yeah, we can just do whatever they recommend here. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, this all looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and create it. <clears throat> so this is creating a new VPC that's uh, IPv6 enabled and it's going to be a new uh, subnet along with it. You can kind of tell the uh, the traditional VPCs, you might have a VPC in uh, a, a subnet in every region, whereas um, these IPv6 ones, when you do custom, there's only one. All right, so it created, um, we have our IPv6 new, if we click into it, uh, it just says IPv4 here. Um, there's no IPv6 information. Um, in fact, uh, we can't see it in REST, so let's go ahead and change that. I'll flip to this window. Um, there's a command that you need to run here. So we'll go ahead and type that in, and we're gonna give it our name. What do we call it? IPv6-new. What this does is it just updates the, uh, the uh, network uh, to, to a dual stack for v4 and v6. This takes a second to run. Okay, so we got that in there. Now let's go ahead and copy this into our config.json. All right. So your config should look like so. Um, specify ports and so forth. We're gonna use the traditional Go image that we've been using, right? Um, uh, let me just go ahead and create that and I'll just recompile so we know what we're getting into here. Uh, 37, all right, so we got it compiled. Let's create an image. Uh, something like this. Okay, so it finished uploading. Now we're gonna go ahead and create the instance. Uh, this looks good. Should happen fairly quickly. Okay, so it created. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can find the IP of this address. Okay, so this is our instance that we just uh, we just created here. Pop into the serial. All right, so here's our address. Let's see if we can attach to it. So we just tell that to it, and uh, you know it looks like it it works. So that's IPv6 on Google Cloud.